Good morning, friends. I am here to follow up on breaking news that I broke right here yesterday. And that is that seven, seven elite athletes died over the past couple of days there in Kentucky, in Louisville, in fact, at the Kentucky Derby. By seven elite, elite athletes, I mean the horses. The jockeys are all fine. The trainers, everybody is good. But um, these elite athletes died in mysterious circumstances and GRI is here to investigate. Now, let me tell you what happened. This one dude, two of his horses died and we're, I'm looking at him askance. I tell you askance. Why two of your horses are dead? Um, so I was researching into how all these seven horses died and it wasn't that just like seven horses keeled over. One died um, of something in a one field and another one died of something else in another field. Please know that we are not into deep research here at Gossip Room or in innu Innuendo. As you can tell by the name of this channel, we are here for the gossip and the rumors and the innuendo and sometimes wild speculation. Apparently, when a horse gets sick and died, they do a necropsy. That's like the animal version of an autopsy, only the results of the necropsy don't get released publicly because there's like doctor-patient privilege between the veterinarian and the horse owner. So people could be hiding stuff. We don't know. But this one trainer was suspended because two of the horses that passed away were his. Now, th this trainer, Joseph something or other, Joseph Safi, I think, child, don't quote me, I don't know. Um, he was like, we don't know if it's something in the water. We don't know if it's something where they were staying. You saying his hotel was bad? The horse hotel is killing the horses? Mr. Safi, I think not. Um, one horse had to be euthanized after an injury on the field and another horse they suspect might have had a heart defect. So, okay, Kentucky is the horse racing capital of the world and horses apparently die like 1% of horses <laughs> die um, all the time at racetracks. It, uh, dog, don't make me mad. Um, it all seems very, very suspicious to me. I will be following up and hunting down all the latest gossip that I can find to figure out what's going on. But please keep in mind, don't quote me and don't assume that any of this is factual. I just read some information in the racing news and I know things about horse racing. I know a dude whose father's horse won the Kentucky Derby one time. That makes me close enough to the action, right? I think that practically makes me an expert. In fact, it makes me the closest gossip to any horse racing that you're going to find here on the internet. So take that for what it's worth. Anyway, um, reporting live from here in my office um, with word into Kentucky. I don't, My mama lives in Kentucky. So that's like having somebody right there on the scene. Anyway, I'm gonna call my mama and see what she says about the horses. Probably nothing because she's super not into horse racing. But did you know in Kentucky, um, in Louisville, the kids get off school for Kentucky Derby Day? The Derby is on a Sunday. Y'all skip it. No, it's on a Saturday. You don't even have to skip skips. I can't talk. You don't even have to skip Saturday school. But on Friday, oh, they let you off school for the race that's gonna be on Saturday. They are very dedicated to horse racing. I think that's admirable. Also, um, get back to school. Okay, y'all. When I find out more about these dead horses, I'm going to let you know. Bye.